Howdy YouTube and welcome back to Imperium part 2. So I pretty much spent, uh, we're on day 3 now, so I spent a second day and visited all the ores that was in the region and all I've done is, bit of work, is collect pretty much a hundred near enough of the ores that were around and process them and rather than you having to sit around and wait uh, 20 years for me to uh, craft these they're not the quickest at crafting uh, so I decided go ahead and get them built pre um, also whilst doing this I actually met some of the wildlife and there is a humanoid ant like type thing that came and decided to sting me uh, so I died from poison and in the process of that I bumped into two stupid daffodils that decided it wanted to have a go as well so I've managed to uh, kill them off died myself so I'm on one death now uh, but I decided uh, enough's enough I'm gonna get the base done so all I've done is I've created a large constructor, a generator, fuel tank, cloning chamber. I believe that is replaced the medical. Um, I haven't looked at much in the tech tree. Uh, and we already had our base starter, so I just need some fuel. And we'll go ahead and start putting our base down. And then hopefully we should be good to go. So... It's just a case of putting some blocks down. Did I pick them blocks where? And put you a little bit. If you're struggling to actually jump up, uh, just use your uh, jetpack uh, and that'll be enough to uh, get you up in the air. And that should be good. For the minute. So I want to try and be as quick as I can. I'm not sure whether they still attack you uh, very quickly or very early on I don't need you just yet so I'm just gonna see if I can get some of my items down um, do you know I've actually forgot how you uh, rotate items I'm just going to put it down. Um, six. Damn, that thing's huge. And eight. Um, I'm just going to have a quick look at how you rotate again. get my items out of here um, as you can see I, I threw a lot of stuff in there just just to protect myself uh, in case I died and I couldn't find my way back straight away uh, let's get you in here Water. and what I'm after is weapons okay cool color tool right okay so it's a case of let's have a look at the tech tree now uh, we 
definitely want that. That is my, what I'm trying to get is at least if I've got a turret here, I can at least try and protect myself a little bit. And so not you, why? Yeah, there we go. I'm still struggling trying to remember what keys do what. So hopefully um, we'll get that up and running really quick. And at least it will give us a bit of protection and we can get back here and when we're out and about moving around we can at least uh, know that the base is somewhat protected. Still making them. So yeah, um, they've definitely ramped it up, um, and I, I thought it were uh, an hour or so uh, before you started seeing uh, walking daffodils or anything that was aggressive, and it seemed to be that way. Um, I didn't get hit straight away, so that was uh, that was nice to see that I just didn't get pounded on. So we've got our base foundation, uh, we're at least up and running. Now, the other thing that I did struggle with was the ammunition for our driller. Uh, and I actually made the drill charges. Uh, there we go, so I made 15 drill charges and couldn't work out for the life of me why I couldn't actually get my drill to work. And then, rather foolishly, I looked at the bottom right corner and realized it's biofuel and that's been added and you actually get that from under the water so I managed to grab some and I've made uh, I made three because it was completely out so it takes I think five seaweed pretty easy enough to get it's just something you're gonna have to require having oxygen for oh, yes we've got our turret which is good And sweet. Right. Um we need ammo box. Is that a thing? How do these things get ammo? Large constructor, food processor, which would be good. Small or two tank, don't need. Uh, small vessel, is there anything in here? Oh, miscellaneous, small ammo box, okay, so I need to unlock that, um, yeah, so what I'm looking for is the, where it says placeable, you've got BA, CV, SV, HV, so base, uh, capital vessel, small vessel, and hover vessel, so I need an ammo box, oh, let's see if we can get that made, um, small ammo box and then we've got the 30 mil bullets so I'll try and make some of them mm. we've got four hours of daylight left I'm just going to put it there for a minute. It's a little bit shielded, uh, not overly, but at least it will have some shielding. And hopefully, we're getting this now. Yes, we have a working. 
second turret. So hopefully, if anything does come along, it will protect us. Which is rather nice. So I've got a funny feeling they're going to go through a crap load of bullets. going to get 200 uh, in there at least. Now the other thing that I did put down was the portable oxygen maker and that's purely simply because A, I need oxygen to get across there for swimming and the other aspect was I needed to go under the water to get the seaweed so I could at least get my drill running. So at least I've got something that resembles a platform, a bit of a base. Uh, while we're just waiting on that, that's 100. I'm just going to turn you off. And just turn you on. Twenty more steel blocks. And I'm just going to extend out a little bit more um, and make it a little bit wider. Then hopefully we'll get some lights going, which will make it a little bit easier on us. Okay, so while we're waiting on that, uh, let's have a look at our tech tree. So, good thing we've got plenty of points. So, is there anything? Yeah, no. Not interested in any of them just yet. Fridge. I want a fridge. I can make a food processor, so that's good. Uh, that'll be my next actual construction item that I'll get is a fridge and food. Weapons, uh, assault rifle, yep, just purely simply, it's a lot better. It's getting tagged by that stupid walking ant, paranoid. Okay, so that's making our blocks. So, weapons, uh, we're good for it now. Tools, multi tool, uh, we're going to need that for repairing, flat and filler, don't need that, and use for texturing building block, don't need you for the minute, so that's not a priority. The next thing I want to start doing is our small vessel. Now, things have changed a lot in the game, so I'm under no illusion that... Uh, it's going to be a lot, lot different than what it were before. Docking pad, used for docking your small vessel or hover vessels. Yeah, we don't need one of them. Uh, we, we can do it without the lights, to be fair. Uh, generator, we're going to need a generator. Fuel tank. Um, auto. Cockpit. Uh, Gatling gun. Don't need a passenger seat because we won't have anyone with us. And I've got to learn that because I do need a the landing gear. Um, hmm, what's the difference? I'm going to learn that because I just don't know what the difference is on that. Um, L2 station, yes, just because if we're out and about, gives us a bit of safety. Tools we've done, weapons we're good for, base, is there anything else on base? We'll do an oxygen station, might as well get the plant life going, lights. Hang the door, uh, shut the door, elevator block, might as well get that going now. 
don't need anything capital vessel, we've got small vessel. Um, might as well unlock you for the lights. Miscellaneous. Um, we've got everything in there that we need. Uh, hover vessel, not even going to bother with. Uh, and tools. I don't know if they made any mass improvements. They tried for a, uh, a while to make a lot of changes to hover vessels, make it make them more useful uh, than they were really. They were when they first introduced them. Uh, most people, myself included, when we played a lot, we just had a small vessel and just flew around the planet. Um, and to hell with the fuel cost. Um, it was just far, far easier and less hassle to fly somewhere, get the resources and fly back than it were to actually get there on a hovercraft. Um, so, what we're going to do... Right, okay, so let's start getting more of our base up and running. And hopefully... Okay, so we've got a bit of a platform. And do we have enough for a food processor? And food processor. Now, something I have noticed that they've changed is it used to be you had three types of constructors. The last time I played, you had three. You had your portable one, which is what you started with. Then you had a large one, and then you had an advanced one. Now, the difference between the large and the advanced were when you came to actually craft something, it would actually pre-make the items for you, uh, and then it would assemble the main thing. But it looks like they've got rid of the advanced one, or the, the functionality of the advanced one over the large, and that just goes ahead and makes it for you, which is kind of, kind of nice. So once we've done that, the next thing I want is weaponry. Uh, I want an assault rifle. And the assault rifle uses 5.8, yes. Uh, give me five of them. And that's basically just going to allow me where I can go out and start hunting stuff down. And get some food stacked up. Got our food processor. Not too worried about the placement at the moment. We will get to a point where uh, this will be our platform out in the water and then we'll have our, our main base on the uh, island. The moment it's just a case of just keep us protected. Got some bullets coming out, so that's good. And what else are we going to want? A fridge. The uh, 50 cal, <laughs> not overly the greatest. There we go. And we're a little bit more, more protected if a uh, walking daffodil comes along. coming out once they're out we've got our fridge down and we have the basics that we need to uh, start our base so we've got our ammo box the only thing we're lacking at the moment is a storage box not too too worried about that for the minute so we've got our fridge coming so as we start tagging creatures now 
we can actually start uh, stocking our fridge up, cook the food. We're not having to rely on running around trying to find plant life. What I'll do guys is get the fridge down and I'll wrap it up from that. What I'll probably end up doing again is I'm going to make some more ammo. Is I'll spend a day, I'll go out, uh, try and grab a lot more resources, bring it back and process it. And then you can actually see some of the building work. Uh, I'll probably make a lot more blocks, and get at least the blocks down. At least get this section down, make it, make it a lot easier. Um, I need to get some auto generators going. I need to get some lights up, um, but I may do that on, on camera or off camera. I'm unsure yet. There's our fridge coming out. But, but at the moment, my main goal now is, is to get over to the resource points, gather resources. I need to go out and do a hunt, get some food in our fridge. Hopefully not bump into any more of them ant-like things. Um, I don't know if they're nocturnal, whether they just come out at night or, or what, um, I have no idea. So there we go, we've got our fridge, that's more than enough to sustain us for food. So I'll leave it there guys, and if you've got any comments, suggestions, uh, again I feel like a complete newbie on this game, don't forget, whack them in the comments below, and don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and as always guys, be safe, take it easy, make sure you have plenty of fun, and see you next time.